Hello teachers, today I will show you how to download and accomplish the ESAT template. ESAT is a self-assessment tool that helps teachers reflect on the different objectives related to their professional work. This will guide teachers on which RPMS objectives they must improve and the areas where they need coaching and mentoring. First is you should open your browser for the put in your Microsoft Edge. Then let's go to this link. Input nyo lang po dyan sa itaas. Then, okay, you need to use your DeepEd email account. So, since hindi po ako naka-DeepEd email, so, click ko lang po dyan yung nasa baba. Then, use another account. And, input po natin yung ating DeepEd email account. Next. Password, and next again. Okay, makikita po natin yung ating icon, may dapat na po, so we are in. Uh, next, punta tayo sa other associated tools. And, uh, ESET form. Okay, makikita po natin ESET collection file for teachers and for consolidation. Dito tayo sa file for teachers. There, you have a two may manual po tayo and uh, template yan po yung ida-download muna natin yung template then just click download tapos makikita nyo po it nagda-download na po siya dyan sa baba next back po tayo if you want to download also the manual yung naka pdf Yan, we will download the manual. In so upper right, makikita natin yung uh, arrow for download. Just click the download. And sa left side bottom, makikita po natin na nagda download na po. Then you can now exit or close the tab. Punta tayo sa folder. Then doon tayo sa ating downloads. There. Open downloads. Yan po yung ating manual and yung prescribed na template. Right click. Then choose extract files. Okay, tapos ilalagay po natin ang soft copy nito sa desktop. So, I will choose desktop para mas madaling makita po. Okay, let's exit here. Okay, there. Nasa desktop na po yung template natin. Okay, so let's start filling this out. Double click and open. Mm -hmm, loading pagka open nyo po ng excel ok please click enable editing tapos may isa pang lalabas after nyan ok click enable content ok so ok na po and uh, click start so we have privacy notice I authorize the personnel of the Department of Education to collect, process, retain, and dispose my personal information in accordance with the Data Privacy Act of 2012. So, I agree lang po tayo to proceed. So, we have the part 1, Demographic Profile. So, let's see. Ito yung una. Okay, all caps meaning uh, capital letters po lahat. So, last name, first name, and the middle initial. Type po natin. Then, employee ID. Then, 
Then, position. Do not type your position po kung may makikita tayong arrow o yung drop box, uh, drop down sa gilid. Okay. Then, select employment status. Okay. Click the arrow. Age. Then, the gender. May drop down then. And, next is the number of years in teaching. Highest degree obtained. Bachelor's, Master's, and Doctorate. And level taught taught at saka yung grade level taught is we cannot fill this out po kasi uunahin muna ang curricular classification ay ito po so unahin natin yung side na ito so we have the region 11 division of Tagum city okay yung district ninyo For example, Tagum Nord. School ID. Name of school. So, I bag Urinia Elementary School. So, shout out po sa mga magagandang teachers na yes or yes. School type. Urban po kami. Yeah, size. Medium. Ayun ang manok. Uh, curricular classifications kinder to grade 6 so balik tayo sa level thought, thought. yan lalabas na po ang kindergarten or elementary okay click the drop down then elementary tapos grade 6 okay proceed tayo sa baba okay, areas of specialization so dyan sayo po ako nung college um itong isa is the subject dot so I handle the LE and uh aralin panlipunan so I check nyo lang ano yung subjects nyo then click next so dito na tayo sa part 2 which is the objectives so, just read the instructions. Nakikita natin dito yung uh, iba't ibang objectives. Yung PPSD domain. And itong dalawang columns dito sa my right side. These are the level of capability and priority for development. One is for low and highest is for very high. Okay, so yan po yung mga objectives natin. Pakita ko lang. May plus factors sa iba ba? Okay, so for the purpose of this video, so mag-click na lang po ako ng uh, score dyan. Okay, if the level of capa uh, capability is high or very high, so uh, one or two yung ilalagay mo dito sa priority for development but if the level of capability is too low like for example example you only have one so dito naman sa kabila so yun yung ipra, mas ipra priority natin so we will have a score higher dito sa kabila and tapos, tapusin lang po natin Okay, hindi ko pa muna yan pinag-isipan just for the sake of this video. So, mas medali if you use mouse. So, hindi po kasi ako nagma-mouse talaga. And there, mayroon tayong box sa iba ba. So, that's optional. However, if you have something to say, comments, so pwede po dyan. Then, if you're done, click next and go to part 3 the core behavioral competencies so meron po tayong instruction again for that okay my for self 
management, professionalism, and ethics, all of those core behavior competencies. And I know, alam na naman ng mga teachers kung paano ito i-fill out. Ang ginagawa natin to every year. So, check lang po yung uh, mga behavioral competencies dyan that best apply or suits to you. Okay. Third, results focus. Four, teamwork. And five, service orientation. Uh, six is the innovation. Then, save. Ayan na. Tapos na po kayo. So, ayan na po yung part 1, 2, and 3. Yung isat form ninyo. So, after that one, we have choices. Itayas. Print or finish. So, print. Click print. So, make sure na connected yung computer ninyo sa inyong printer. Pag hindi gumana, ibang uh, brand ng printer yon So, you can uh, control P para ma-direct kayo doon sa choices ng printer ninyo. Okay, for example, control P. Okay. And you will use another printer. So, dyan, pipili lang po tayo kung anong printer po yung gagamitin ninyo. Okay, now click here to go back and finish. So, let's input our password. So, I tried four lang no, for digits. So, hindi tinanggap. So, it should be six, minimum of six characters or more. Better. And finalize. Okay. There you have it. Ito po yung ipapasa ninyo sa inyong ICT coordinator. So, ayan na po. Then, you need to change the file name. File name, rather. Click or F2. Then, edit the file name. Ito po yung ipapalo natin. Then,